Hey, how's it going? I'm uh, just fixing my uh, sunroof drains on my Volvo C30. I just wanted to give a couple tips and I wanted to show people how I'm fixing this. Just to give you some options because I looked it up and I saw a couple different things people are doing. Uh, basically, if you're watching this, you probably have an issue with some flooding in your vehicle. There's the end of mine. Mine just came apart. I guess there's a, a connector that connects them. It had uh, maybe just come apart and someone just went ahead and stuck the tube down inside it and on both sides it was leaking. I just, I had water everywhere. So anyways, the, the way I'm fixing it is basically my, my tubing is in good shape. So if yours is in good shape too, you may want to try this. Um, I inspected uh, the large portion of it and this to see if there were any cracks and I looked up under, underneath to see if it was disconnected um, at the actual um, sunroof and it's it's all good so the tubing's good it just needs to be reconnected basically um, so my idea was just to go ahead and use um, a fitting I've already gone ahead and, and put it on the other side but I'll show the process on this side. We're gonna lube these up. We're gonna heat up both ends and they'll just slide right in. So I'm just gonna put a little grease on the edge of this. All right, so I just heated that up a little bit. Got it a little warm, put a little lube on the end and it just, it slides right in. So go ahead and uh, lube this side, get it ready. And then you're gonna wanna stick your heat gun down there and get that nice and toasty as well. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it with a pick, just a nice long pick. You can probably use a screwdriver, just anything with like a little grabber end so you can kind of grab onto the end of the hose, the other hose and hold it tight while you, you push this into the end of it. And then I'll show you the result in a moment. Well, it's kind of hard to see in there, but that's the finished product. Just gotta heat up them tubes and they'll slide right in there. Uh, this one, I uh, put it in the top tube first and slid it down to the bottom. That seemed to work best. The other side I had to uh, I had to put it, put it in the bottom first and then slide this tube on top of it just the way it was kind of twisted and uh, I'm left-handed too so it's a, it's a little easier to do it on this side for me but that should hold once those tubes uh, cool down they'll stick tight to that connector and um, shouldn't have any more problems <laughs> 